Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. On the Ancient Architects channel I've made videos about 8 of the 12 Tastapella sites and I've linked a playlist at the end of this video and also in the description below. But some of the sites included within the 12 have nothing written about them, because so far no work has actually taken place. For example, excavations are only just beginning at the Tastapella site of Jogenberch, which is located around 17 miles or 27 kilometers west-southwest of Gobekli Tepe. Earlier this year, when the 12 Tastapella regions were first announced, authorities said that geomagnetic and georadar measurements had taken place in some areas, and I suspect that this is what made authorities certain that Jogenberch was a specific site of interest because no excavations have taken place to my knowledge. I can't find any photographs or video footage of the area, no archaeological papers that even mention the site, and what I'm left with to investigate the area is Google Earth. In doing so, I am of course reminded of the late Chuck Appleton of the CF App 7865 channel who made so many videos on this part of the world and also used Google Earth extensively in his investigations. Jogenberch or Jochenberch is a village surrounded by shallow hills, just west of San Lierfa, and there really isn't a lot written about it on the internet. But having recently looked at the many Tastapella sites in this region, I decided to be an armchair space archaeologist, following the lead of the brilliant Sarah Parkak, who specialises in using satellite imagery to investigate Egyptian ruins. It is an emerging field of study, especially with accessible tools like Google Earth, and although it isn't exact or conclusive without fieldwork, it can help us to see things we could otherwise miss help us to spot sites of interest that are worthy of field observation. Turkish authorities have mentioned Jogenberch in their presentations of pre-pottery Neolithic Turkey, but the specific site of interest, the location of the archaeology has not been mentioned. So, using Google Earth I took a closer look. Google Earth can often highlight illegal digging, like we see at sites like Kurt Tepesi, and even though you can have something like 10 meters of soil accumulation over ancient pre-pottery Neolithic sites, this is not the same for every site. We know from the work at Karahan Tepe that ancient people didn't just build on the bedrock surface, but they also shaped the bedrock. And so, what I was looking for, first of all, was strange or unnatural shapes in the land topography. This circular feature, located opposite the recently excavated part of Karahan Tepe, is clear as day on this 2011 satellite photograph. And now on the 2021 photo, we can see it is now being excavated. This is not one of the enclosures shown in recent news reports, but it measures 23 metres across, the same size as the enclosure across the valley known as Structure AD by archaeologists. This shows that satellite photographs of the region can help us to locate potential archaeology. I also believe the newly excavated structures at Karahan Tepe are also related to natural spring water, and I'll discuss this in a coming video. So if we take a look at satellite pictures of Jogenberch, we can take into account details from other sites. Ayan Lahoyuk and also maybe Karahan Tepe were once close to natural springs. Karahan Tepe is centred on a valley, some of the enclosures are oval in shape, and the largest is 23 metres across. I started focusing on the tall hill just west of the modern day village of Jogenberch. But it wasn't the eastern side of the hill that got my attention, the one next to the modern day village, but it was in fact the west side, which is located next to a shallow valley. Here we can see an enormous 100 meter diameter, circular or oval feature, and although I'm not saying that this is an enclosure, it could well be a man-made feature of the landscape, as it does look too regular and out of place on the hillside. You can also trace it in older satellite photographs, going back at least 20 years and beyond. 
Directly to the west of it, we can see two oval shaped features, and interestingly, they measure exactly 23 meters in diameter, the same size as the large enclosure at Karahan Tepe, which is also located on the side of a limestone hill right next to a valley. Here is another clear oval feature with a 12 meter diameter, and this one here measures 23 to 24 meters across. These rectangular features are clearly modern, and they do disappear as you go back through the years on Google Earth. But these linear features next to the valley do remain, and are possibly indicative of archaeology below the surface. I do think the location of each Tastapella site was chosen by the ancients because there was a natural source of water. Not necessarily a river or stream, but there would have been a natural spring nearby. Now, a good way to locate a spring is to look at the colour changes of the land, because wetter areas tend to be greener. Next to the enclosures identified is a valley, which, as you can see, is green. But there is also this feature that snakes from the high ground above down into the valley, cutting across the natural limestone bedding. This is likely a small stream, and it passes by many of the possible enclosures identified. This, in my opinion, could well be the source of an ancient natural spring, and when you rotate the land and look towards the southwest down into the valley, well, when you train your eye, a number of potential archaeological targets are identified. The stream from the spring looks to snake around the large circular structure, which was the first thing I noticed when looking on Google Earth, so maybe what we're looking at is in fact artificial channeling. Maybe to transport water from the spring to these enclosures located here. I don't know. At some point in the past four years, a rectangular feature surrounded these two possible ancient oval enclosures, and I wonder if this is related to modern archaeological investigations. There is also a third circular 10 meter diameter feature adjoining them. We know specific information regarding the archaeology in this site is currently unavailable. So this of course is a highly speculative video, and I can't even be sure if this is the archaeological site identified by the experts of the village of Jogenberg. But using information and observation from other Tastapella sites, this could well be another very exciting pre-pottery Neolithic site with a number of large oval and circular enclosures just waiting to be discovered. As far as I know, excavations are taking place over the next three years, and so we will know more in due course, and I'll present everything here on the Ancient Architects channel. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.